have our Catholic high school students, some Catholic elementary school students here for a presentation on uh, the human body, but also uh, they're going to get to hear firsthand from some of the amazing Catholic health uh, doctors and nurses and administrators today about Catholic health and the, the goodness of Catholic health uh, for our people here on Long Island. It's a day of inspiration. Uh, 600 plus of our amazing Catholic uh, students from various schools all over Long Island are here at the Cradle of Aviation Museum. So the students are going to get hands-on exposure at, to the various displays and get an understanding of how all these amazing systems were built. And then through some didactic education, actually get to see the amazing film called Superhuman, which really showcases the outcome of strong science, technology, engineering, and mathematics training as it relates to the biomedical field and clinical medicine. And they're going to actually get to see how that interplay leads to improvements in health outcomes and to get inspired, really, by STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And what better place than the Cradle of Aviation Museum. The partnership with the Catholic Health Group is extremely important to us here at the Cradle. Um, it allows us to bring into play with students um, a variety of new subjects related to healthcare. Today is an expression of the very strong partnership that our Catholic elementary schools and high schools have with our phenomenal Catholic health system here on Long Island. Um, it's a way for our young people to engage the gifts that Catholic Health has offered to our people here on Long Island, for them to see really the broadness of what Catholic Health can do for our people here on Long Island and uh, the gift that it is for us. We want our young people to be informed, a particular way in Catholic education, to have a sense of faith and reason. All of this is created by our God and to have a sense of awe and wonder about how God creates, but also to be inspired uh, by these wonderful fields. I am here today uh, to represent Catholic Health and talk a little bit about nursing and how nursing uh, is part of a STEM career and uh, you know, offer this up as an opportunity for students looking to get into STEM. You know, nursing is one of those things that might, might be overlooked. So I'm gonna be discussing the steps that it takes to become a doctor, the education involved, and how STEM um, is involved in each steps of that process. It's very important for students to learn about this. STEM plays a huge role in the process of becoming a physician, as well as the technology and um, engineering and everything involved in providing the ultimate uh, best care for our patients. We're going to be talking about how, at least for my career as an architect, how it applies to being one of the many STEM careers that a student or a younger professional could be uh, pursuing. I think it's important for a number of reasons. One, it's exposure to STEM subjects, which are not easy, uh, but it's also looking at STEM careers. Uh, there's thousands and thousands of jobs in a variety of industries, uh, healthcare being the major one, uh, where STEM comes into play. We want them to be inspired uh, to use uh, their gifts in a very powerful way. It might be in the area of STEM, it might be in the area of healthcare, it might be in lots of different areas, but our job is to inspire them to use their gifts and talents for the betterment of others. We're hoping to inspire our next generation of STEM leaders to enter the healthcare field. You know, we have so much opportunity in healthcare and especially at Catholic Health, so we're hoping we can inspire our next generation to not only learn and go into one of these disciplines, but maybe even stay with us at our amazing health system.